Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to another episode of Football Manager 21. We are in the Bundesliga in our journeyman save. And after our 5 nothing win in the first round of the Pokal Cup, uh, we've kind of had a mixed bag starting off the Bundesliga season. A 2-2 draw with Leipzig, which wasn't a bad result. Uh, Sorare, one of our new players, got a goal. And Osen Doyle got a late goal for the equalizer. Dusseldorf, we were underdogs. We got the 2-0 victory, clean sheet, Jack Hunter and Nikolai Yashin with the goals there. And then Union Berlin took us to task with two first half goals. We never showed a threat and uh, lost that one 2-0. So early days of the uh, Bundesliga, three matches in, a game in hand with most clubs. We are sitting down in 12th position with four points. So we'd like to certainly get some wins here as we progress. We're going to show you some highlights here in just a second after I play the Bauckham game, and then we'll play Charleroi in the Euro Cup. Just to let you know, we had the draw as we were building up to today's episode. We are in with Willem II, uh, Beersheva, and Sh Charleroi. Charleroi is a Belgian first division uh, Beersheva is from Israel, and Willem II is from the Arita VC in the Netherlands. So, not sure, Not I don't know anything about Israel. Uh, the Arita VC, they appear to be our toughest competition. Charleroi, they are first division, and the Belgian first division is rated pretty high. Well, Pro League A. Yeah, they're the ninth best, so they're right up there with the Arita VC, but... You know, I mean, we're a top five league, right? So we should be able to get this done. Uh, hopefully. Fingers crossed. All right, well, let me go play this match. We'll come back with some highlights. All right, popping in for the highlights. We just finished the game. Jack Hunter got the start. He didn't play very well, so I think there's an argument to be made not to keep him in the starting rotation, at least not at striker. We gave up a penalty. That put us in a 1-0 hole in the 22nd minute. Krisnik with the long throw, and Doyle got his head on the ball. I believe that was Doyle right there. It was Osin Doyle with the equalizer. And then in the 67th minute, Doyle again bringing the ball up, lays it off to Sorare. A little bit of ball movement, and Yopek pings that one in with his left foot, and that was the game winner. We had 22 shots to their four dominated, well, didn't dominate, but we had the edge in possession, but dominated the shots and uh, looked pretty good here. So liking that, that gives us, after four matches, getting us in line with everybody. We're right up in this lead pack, seven points. So that was a big, big win for us. Something I think that we needed. And, you know, we'll need to pick up a few of those. All right, let me get up to the match uh, today with Charleroi. And we'll be back and we'll play that one on camera here in just a second. All right. They are considered Belgian heavyweights, but they are slight underdogs against us. They're going to be without David Zavadil from a twisted ankle, and we have no selection problems. They have not lost a match this season. Looked like one or two draws. I just glanced at that out of the corner of my eye. Looks like Krasnick and Sorare have really formed a good partnership on that left side. Uh, let's see. Let's look at some. I'm going to tweak this one up a little bit. This is a trio that I really want in here if we can go. Cernan scored a ton of goals for us last year, as did Aslani. Uh, Cernan, of course, was injured. And then Hunter, all three of those had double-digit goals last year. I want to try the three of them. Now, that puts Jopik and Sorer on the bench. Sorer is playing a 7.14 with a goal in four, and Jopik has a goal in three starts. So I, I really, I've got to get a comfort level just figuring out who I actually want in my starting 11. And I guess we better start figuring that out because before we know it, it's going to be a little late. We're on the road in this one. 
Oh, real quick, do any of you guys that do uh, your own content, and I know there's a few of you on here, uh, not sure what rendering software you use, but I'm having an issue with mine. I have been using uh, DaVinci Resolve by Blackmagic for a couple of years now, uh, but I'm star I just started having issues where it's crashing, and doing a search tells me I need to go in and take out the the integrated GUI possibly and I don't know if I want to do that because I'm that's getting a little outside of my wheelhouse um, so what I'm looking for if any of you use DaVinci Resolve have you had this crashing problem where it just freezes up and goes not responding uh, and if you have what did you do to fix it and if you use another rendering software that's a that looks like a well, I thought that was a big ass TV in the corner. That was freaking me out. Wow. Um, and we get a goal. Yes. As Lonnie scored, I was so drawn away by the what looked like a TV. As Lonnie goes up, keeper misplays the ball, it looks like, on that long throw. And we're up 1 0. Let's give them a spot of encouragement there. Uh, but if you use another rendering software, what do you use? Preferably something free or relatively cheap and uh, easy to use. <laughs> so uh, anyway, recommendations are welcome because I can get through it, but it'll crash three, four, five times just while I'm editing. And it's just frustrating. I've got to save like every time I make a cut in the video, uh, I've got to save it and, you know, then it crashes and I've got to close it and then restart the program. And it, it's a pretty detailed program. It's actually a high-end program that is used in Hollywood. And they sell a um, uh, a board for it that's like $30,000 or some some stupid number. Um, but I don't need that. You get There's a free version. You don't need that. But it still goes through the boot-up process looking for it. And yeah, so um, yeah, it takes a few minutes to boot up every time. So, you know, all these crashes are probably slowing me up at least 30 minutes per episode uh, just from the editing and editing portion of it. And that's frustrating. So I need to look into that. So any tips, that would be great. We're playing pretty well here. Six shots, three on target, yet to reach a 1.0 XG. I'm really not sure how I'm liking this 4231. It puts all of our guys in the right spots. But I just feel much better. Oh, good steal by Aslani making a run back there. Laid off. Oh, that was poor. But it looks like we're doing a pretty good job controlling the ball. There's out to Hunter. Krisnik on the overlap. Are we doing a mixed... Are we doing mixed crossing here? No, they're supposed to be crossing low. Hmm, okay. I don't know what they consider a low cross. I view those as on the ground, right? All right, let's demand more. We'll be happy if we can get into the locker room at halftime with this 1-0 advantage. Oh, there's a dangerous ball. A oh, good tackle by Krisnik. I think he's been a good signing so far. There's a big clearance. Bless me. As Lonnie up the wing. Squared in. There's a shot, and it's Nikolai Yashin, his second goal of the season. What an assist, and what a better shot. That is great. And now I'll be even happier getting into the locker room with a 2 0 advantage. Oh, Yassin with a one timer. Man, that was nice. Very, very nice. Yassin, where did he's, uh, is he my box? What position does he play? 
Oh, he's my number 10. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He's young, too, isn't he? Isn't he? He's the real young one. 17. That's right. That was a pretty deft finish there. We'll go with that. Um, outstretched arms. Pleased with your performance. Back out for the second half. So this will be a good win if we can hold off. It'll be always nice to start a, a group stage with a victory. Especially when it's against one of the two teams that you're that you're supposed to be challenging against. Oh, Yashin couldn't get there. Looks like he had a foul. Did he get a yellow card? Did not get a yellow, just a warning. There's a yellow for Doyle. All right, let's pop in and make some subs here. Uh, deserved his yellow, Gunderson. Let's bring Neil Lynch in. He slots in naturally on the right, so that'll be a like for like. And then we'll do a like for like. I'm going to move Aslani up top and then bring Yopek in for him. And we'll just get a little different look here with Aslani. He's doing really well. He's playing a 7-7 seven, seven today. Let's, uh, let's drop a spot of praise on him. 59% possession. We've allowed one shot. Zaheen headed back out. Oh, there's Lynch. First highlight we've seen him. At least getting the ball played out in the right direction. Oh, Yopek does a good job intercepting that ball off the chest. I think we've got to be pretty happy with what we're seeing here today. Squared in. There's Takahashi. And Hunter puts it on goal. It was forced to save by the keeper. Six shot on target. I might need to go in. Usually I don't worry about, you know, the throw-ins and the set pieces. I just go with the default. But, uh-oh. And I think we're going to be a. No, oh, I thought we were going to be a man down. Just a professional foul. All right, we've got some guys that are starting to drag here. Uh, Sahin, Krasnik, Takahashi, and he's nursing an injury. So let's pull him off. Sam is an 18 passer. So yeah, we'll put him in, let him stay in that playmaker role. And I think that'll be a good swap out. Won't lose anything there. Takahashi's got such a good passing ability as well. But I can't fault Sam's either. I think it was an 18 when I looked at it. Probably not the guy that I wanted to take off. But you can tell he was a little slow. All right, he is off, yeah? Okay. He was still on the pitch there a second ago. <laughs> I was like, come on, get him off the field. Oh, Yopek, nice header to pick that off. There's a ball out to Yopek. Oh, good, good ball movement. Sam. Uh, right into the defender. Come on, boys. Demand more. There's the long throw. Headed out. Uh oh, they've got some runners here. They've got two in the middle. Good tackle by Krisnik. Boy, he looks good. That's been a big upgrade for us. We've been a lot more solid on that left side. From what it, from what I can see, at least from what it looks like, as as Lonnie takes the outlet pass, he cuts it inside, and oh, he was bending it. It just goes wide of the mark. That was a good effort. Had some had some good English on that. Sam, oh, what a save! Sure hands by the keeper there. Headed out, and that should be it. We're already into the fifth minute. And there we go. A nice, nice 2-0 clean sheet victory. 
to open up our cup run. Good win. Well done. So probably what we'll do this season is one to two days. We get 670000 for that, for that win. We got three... Am I mistaken? Did we get 3.3 .3 million, I think, just for qualifying for group stage? So that was a nice little kick in the wallet. And uh, especially since we are we are still much higher than I want to be on payroll. But if I want to be competitive to try to stay at this level. So my hope is if we can qualify and make a, at least a decent run. If we can get out of group stage and reach the knockouts. Uh, we should pocket enough money to offset our payroll losses because then the goal becomes if we can do that, then all of the money that we get from finishing fourth, fifth, sixth in the Bundesliga, that's straight profit to our balance. And that, that just will start building us up. And then we can afford to operate at a deficit in this payroll. That's my thought. I hope that works out that way. Uh, let's see. That was an away game. Uh, we played Bauckham 49,000, and we've got 42-2 in seats. I'd certainly like to up that in more seating. Can we ask them for that? Oh, that's right. I forgot we're paying. We're paying like some massive rent. Anyway, what I was saying a minute ago, I think the goal is for the early part of the season at least, is mainly to focus on these uh, these cup matches. So let's come back for we'll skip we'll skip Villem. We'll do highlights from from the Israeli team Beersheba, and then we'll play Freiburg, and then if we advance there, that should be somewhere down in this area, a third round match possibly. But we'll definitely play Villem. We may come back for Charleroi again uh, if, you know, if we need the points. But if we're, if we're doing well, we'll probably skip that one. But we'll definitely come back and watch Villem. So we'll have all three clubs that we've played uh, in the first round. Yeah, I think so. So we'll do, uh, we'll do Beersheba. And uh, we'll do highlights from that. Uh, the match against Freiburg in the Polkel. We'll do that next episode, guys. We'll see you for that. Uh, just a heads up, when you see this, this should come out on Saturday, I believe. I'm going to be out of town this weekend. Uh, I am going back to Louisiana. Uh, my sister and I have to go in and kind of help my dad clean up the house and straighten it out. Uh, he's selling the house, moving out, so we've got to go through everything. She's done most of that. I've gone through a lot of stuff with her when we were up there for the funeral recently. But uh, there's, you know, she stayed about four or five extra days after the funeral when I had to come back to work. And she basically compiled everything uh, into, into the dining room area. And so we're going to go up there uh, next week or, well, this weekend when you see this and uh, kind of finish going through everything. And then we'll make plans to you know, rent a trailer, hook it up to my truck or something and go pick everything up and get it to my house, get it to her house, uh, put it in a storage unit, whatever we've got to do. And, um, oh, real quick, uh, Old Lady Plays did give me a response to the question on how to pronounce my goalkeeper's name. And she said, if he's from Brazil, which he is, or anywhere Portuguese speaking, the J has the same sound as the S in the word measure, which is J, so it would be Janderson. Janderson. Okay, good deal. Oh, by the way, real quick, and I know I'm I know I'm going off pace here, but Janderson, three allowed, three shutouts in four matches. Devos, one match, one shutout. Oh, that was Five allowed, one shutout in four matches. Okay. So, still have yet to settle on one of these guys. 
Janderson really upset me last year. He just looked like he was letting in some some really easy goals. But I think he's by far the best keeper I got. So I think I need to go with that. Anyway, we'll worry about that next episode. Have a good one. Bye.